worked with testing against the transphobic articles that the Guardian Observer had published this week. Um, the article by Suzanne Moore, the article by um, Birchill, which was full of slurs, full of abuse that was completely un unjustified and contains very nasty things. And I don't think it's appropriate to publish things like that in a national newspaper when there are attacks on vulnerable minority groups. Whatever happened to the Guardian's liberalism? Whatever happened to Mill's harm principle? You know, allowing people to be free, to be what they want The Observer have published that article on Sunday and they've since retracted it and apologised. What, what more do you want them to do? Well, agree to, to, you know, make a commitment to not do it again. And retracting it is all well and good, but it's a bit late. It's been published, it's been printed, it's been circulated. You know, it's already gone out there. It's just unacceptable. I'm here because I think the discrimination and hate speech against trans people has got to stop. The article that was published was absolutely abhorrent, <laughs> and if it had been about any other group, um, like, it would never have been published in the first place. But who does give one a right to discriminate the person by calling such names and everything? Which is totally wrong. It should not have come out in the open in the first place. It should have been like censored and everything for it to come out in the open itself. Showing that uh, there's a lot of improvements has to be done. I'm here in solidarity with uh, my trans brothers and sisters um, as uh, a lesbian and queer activist in um, terms of, you know, uh, protesting absolutely vile things that have been printed about them by somebody pretending to be a feminist. Um, Feminism is about working for equality with all minorities and marginalised people, not turning and attacking each other. Well, for me personally, you know, it's supposed, the Observer is supposed to be a sort of more forward-thinking um, newspaper, and yet even they are willing to publish this sort of thing. And it just shows, you know, I've experienced um, first-hand or second-hand um, for many, many years just how vicious you know, the, the discrimination can be on the street and this sort of thing just aids and abets it, it just eggs it on and it makes it acceptable.